Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a daunting video. I'm going to try and film every single one of my TBR books. Now my TBR books have an interesting organisational layout. Uh, it's not the best so I'm going to try and do it in a sort of organised way but there will be series that are split up and aren't together because um, I'm going to go through bookshelf like shelf by shelf from my bookshelf. Uh, this is partly because I'll have some on different TBRs for readathons. I have my bedside cabinet is full of books and they're the ones that I want to read like next so there may be like the next one in the series there and then the rest of the series or the first one and the rest of the series will be on the rest of the TBR shelves. Um, and it's just kind of where they fit. So there's no organisation to it other than that. Other than like read first, then read later. So I'll try and explain as I'm going through. But yeah, it's hella unorganised. So <laughs> let's start with the 7 and 7 readathon TBR books that I haven't got to yet. So currently as I'm filming this, this is probably going to be uploaded well, well after all of these like readathons that I'm talking about are done. I might even be at university by the time I upload this because it's going to be a hell of an edit and I have other stuff to do. But currently I'm in the 7 and 7 readathon and my current read for it is After Anna which is by Alex Lake and I'm literally 15 pages in, I'm not very far in and this is a thriller. I'm not going to do this for all of them, it's just because this is my current read and yes, this is the next read I intend to get through for the 7 and 7 readathon. Then after that I have Black Eyed Susans by Julia Hierberlin. The Time Travel Handbook 18 Journeys from the Eruption of Vesuvius to the Woodstock Festival by Wiley, Acton and Goldblatt. So these were my the rest of my TBR for the 7 and 7 readathon. If you're interested in what I did put on my TBR, it's in my 7 and 7 vlog. Next up that I'm going to show you is my TBR for the book Tubathon 2018. These aren't in the order because they've fallen off my shelf. They're just in a random order. So, and again, I have a standalone video for my book Tubathon TBR. So, I've got Anna Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. I used to know that Geography by Will Williams. Alice by Christina Henry, A Revision Course in Geography by Thomas Pickles, The Last Seven Months of Anne Frank by Vili Lindver, Unrivaled by Alison Noel, Weird Sisters by Terry Pratchett, and finally for the Booktubeathon TBR I have Runaway by Meg Cabot. If you've seen videos from around my room before, my room at my parents house, then you'll know that I have, I'm looking at it now, a bookshelf with some of my favourite books on. It's got the Skulls Over Pleasant series, all of my Harry Potter books and DVDs, and various different bits and bobs from Harry Potter and The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris because I love that book and that's basically all the bookish stuff on there apart from these. And I'm trying to keep them in the box set to make my life a bit easier but this is the rest of the Shadowhunters series. The Mortal Instruments, there we go. <laughs> I've only read City of Bones but we have City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire all by Cassandra Clare and they sit up on that little shelf and I'll get to them eventually. <laughs> Next we're on to my bedside table. So in my little bedside cabinet there's some shelves and in there I have mostly books. Uh, it started as a way to hide my excessive book collection from my parents and now it's just where I store books that I want to get to the soonest. These are the books that I have in there. Rebel Heart by Moira Young, this is book two. The Lie Tree by Francis Hardinger. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Reckoning by Kerry Wilkinson. Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Slaves of the Mastery by William Nicholson. The Empathy Problem by Gavin Extance. The Book of Mirrors by E.O. Chirovici, I believe. Truth Sister by Phil Gilvin. Next is Aru by David Meredith. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Dear Amy by Helen Culligan. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. The Muse by Jessie Burton. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carragher. The Life of Letting Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Sabriel by Garth Nix. I use my chin a lot when I'm carrying stacks of books. That's weird. Wolverine, Enemy of the State, Part 2 of 6 by Miller, Romita Jr and Jansen. Pyramids by Terry Pratchett. Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett. The Beggar of Volubilis by Caroline Lawrence. The Eagle of the Ninth Chronicles by Rosemary Sutcliffe. I've read the first book in this. This is a binup of all three and I've read number one so I just need to carry on with the numbers two and three. Three Sisters, Three Queens by Philippa Gregory. The Six Wives of Henry VIII by Alison Weir. Shattered by Terry Terry. 
Does thou mind, aeroplane? Clearly not. Fuck off, off, The perks of living in the flight path. Come on. The Deer Slayer by J. Fenimore Cooper. Lessex Key by Robert Scott and Jay Gordon. So this wraps up all of the books that were in my bedside cabinet and the shelf and the TBRs that I've got going on currently. So we're going to move on to the bookshelves now, the actual TBR bookshelves. Kind of. I have a little... it's not from Ikea but it's the same idea, the square cubby hole things and I've got one that's got three going down and the top cubby hole has books in. Just the top one for now. Um, and so that's the next set of books that we're going to go through and then after that it's just the TBR shelf. <laughs> kind of. I own too many books I haven't read. The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. The Witchfinder's Sister by Beth Underdown. The Sky is Everywhere by Yandy Nelson. <laughs> the Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. As you can see I have already kind of started it. I'm 67 pages through this 958 page book. Yeah, I'm not very far into it. <laughs> Wormwood by G.P. Taylor. Five Orange Pips and Other Cases by Arthur Conan Doyle. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Kidnapped by Robbie Louis Stevenson. Letters to the Midwife, Correspondence with Jennifer Worth. She's the author of Call the Midwife. And in relation to that, this is by Jennifer Worth, this is In the Midst of Life, and I think this is book number four in the kind of Call the Midwife series, their memoirs. The Complete Novels of Jane Austen, Watching Eddie by Camilla Way, Smiler's Fair by Rebecca Levine, Fall of Giants by Ken Follett, Winter of the World by Ken Follett, Eleven Doctors, Eleven Stories, short stories from some popular writers all about Doctor Who, Ewan Colfer, Michael Scott, Marcus Sedgwick, Philip Reeve, Patrick Ness, R Rachel Mead, Mallory Buckman, Alex Scarrow, Charlie Higson, Derek Landy and Neil Gaiman. Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz. The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. And this concludes the books on that weird little cubby hole. That's all of the ones from there. On these shelves behind me, these are my red shelves, however the big books that I have are stored at the bottom of these shelves, which you can't see because there is a table in the way and I can't really show you with the camera. Um, so there are some books down there that just don't fit anywhere else and they are also on my TBR. So, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, How It Works, Book of Incredible History, Everything You Need to Know About the World We Lived In, Book of Ancient Rome, Battles, Conquests, Leaders, Betrayals and Legacy, and this is by a company called All About History. Photography, Tips, Tricks and Fixes. 50 Years Doctor Who, The Doctors, The Essential Guide to the Many Faces of a Time Lord. The Essential Doctor Who, Cybermen. The Essential Doctor Who, Monsters. The Essential Doctor Who, The Master. A special edition of the Doctor Who magazine, it's the Sarah Jane Companion. This is volume three, I never managed to get a hold of volume one or two, but I absolutely loved the Sarah Jane adventures. They're a brilliant spin-off series. Elizabeth Sladen is a brilliant, beautiful actor, uh, actress, and I was devastated when she passed away. Magical places from the films. And lastly for these big books is Harry Potter, A History of Magic by the British Library. So yes, that is everything from my red shelves that isn't actually red. It's not too big of a pile, but they are all <laughs> very tall. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it's heavy. You can just leave that, okay? Okay. This is Tigger. And it's just me and her in my parents' house at the minute because they're out on a cruise. So she wanted some attention. Hey. So I have a... oh! Does she want down? She wants down. <laughs> so I have a 2014 collection of Doctor Who books which is sat on top of my TBR shelf um, just because it can stand on its own. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see her, you can probably just see her tail but she's... I have some st books stacked in front of me and she's trying to push them off. And she scares herself. What are we gonna do with her? So yes, 
Doctor Who The Collection 2014. This is by, well this is Paradi Paradox Lost by George Mann, Touched by an Angel by Jonathan Morris and Borrowed Time by, my, by Naomi A. Alderman. I've started Alderman's but that's as far as I got. <sighs> yeah, they're a little dusty. I'll get around to them. And now on to the actual shelves. Finally, I only have one small bookshelf technically for it. I should probably have one of these, but it's not my house, so I have to follow my parents' rules. So, brushing cat hair off. The End of the Day by Claire North. The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon, which I got signed by her. On topic, that's my aunt just bought a Linwood Barclay book. She also likes reading. Eva Ibbotson, Journey to the River Sea. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Showdown by Ted Decker. Citadel by Kate Moss, as the sun goes behind a cloud. Uh, as I said, these aren't going to be in order. This is book three of the series. Come back, son. I need you. Ah! Sunlight! Stay. Yay! Okay. <laughs> the Severed Streets, which is by Paul Cornell. The Book of Secrets by Tom Harper. The Girl Who Saved the King of Sweden by Jonas Jonasson. The Inside Man by Jeff Abbott. Cleopatra's Shadows by Emily Holloman. Pompeii by Mary Beard. The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan. The Midnight Star by Marie Lou. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. My cat is messing with my book piles. Tigger. A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. The Song Rising by Samantha Strannan. The third book in the Bone Season series. Series was a word I needed to include there and this is also signed. <laughs> Checkmate by Mallory Buckman. Knife Edge by Mallory Buckman. Prodigy by Mary Lou. Champion by Mary Lou. The Young Elites by Mary Lou. Double Cross by Mallory Buckman. These really are out of order. The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Buckman. The Shadow of War by Stuart Binns. Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Healy, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan, but The Rose Society by Marie Lou, Sepulchre by Kate Moss, Gun Button to Fire by Tom Neal, Fighter Boys by Patrick Bishop, Cleo by Helen Brown, Grimm's Fairy Tales and Anderson's Fairy Tales, The Red Pyramids by Rick Riordan, Renegade by Kerry Wilkinson, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, The Man Who Missed the War by Dennis Wheatley, Akatar by Sarah J Maas, A Court of Thorn and Roses, Legend by Marie Lou, Greyfriars Bobby by Eleanor Atkinson, Wit, Wisdom and Timey Wimey Stuff, The Quotable Doctor Who by Kevin Scott and Mark Wright. A Field Guide to the Wildlife of the British Isles by Alice Thompson. Nosh for Students, which is by Joy May. How to Manage Your Slaves by Marcus Sidonius Falks with Jerry Toner, and there's a foreword by Mary Beard. Fire Song by William Nicholson. Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg or her ghostwriter. Girl Online Going Solo, again, Zoe Sugg or her ghostwriter. I got the first one as a present from my mum and I have a thing about finishing series, so I had to get the next two. And they all match. Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde with The Merry Men and Other Stories by R. L. Stevenson. The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. Why did I go oh. The Ascent of Everest by John Hunt. Kathy's Key and Kathy's Ring by Stuart Wiseman and Brick. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Red Queen by Christina Henry. <laughs> It's about Pompeii. The only like sort of name here is Flavius and obviously that's it's probably like a publishing company for stuff to do with this era. Vesuvius, History of the Volcano and its Eruptions by Treasures of Italy, King's Cage, the third book in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, Orphan Monster Spy by MacLean, Carve the Mark and The Fates Divide both by Veronica Roth, this is a duology, Fingersmith by Sarah Waters, Winter in Madrid by C.J. Sansom, The Undertaker's Daughter by Kate Mayfield, The Neverlist by Koethi Zan, I think I said that right, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini, apologies. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin. 101 Amazing Facts You Need to Know by How It Works. Sketches by Boz and Hard Times by Charles Dickens. Hard Times is actually set in Preston, the city that I went to my undergraduate university for. Travelling to Infinity by Jane Hawkin. Doctor Who, The Encyclopedia 
by Gary Russell, Doctor Who, A History of the Universe in 100 Objects by James Goss and Steve Tribe, Avengers, The Ultimate Character Guide, updated and expanded. Uh, this doesn't have a listed author. Wonders of the Solar System and the Universe by Professor Brian Cox and Andrew Cohen. And this heavy tomb is the last book of my TBR shelves. So hopefully by the time I've actually uploaded this I will have read a lot more of the books. Thank you so much for watching guys, this has been a little bit of a long video. If there's any books that you've seen that on in my bedside cabinet section that you think I should read more urgently than I currently have them, put it down in the comments below and I will see if your argument is good enough to make me move them into my like need to read soon area. If you enjoyed it please click like, if you want to see more of my videos hit subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!